For today's video, we'll be continuing from our previous tutorial on how to work with avatars from Zepedo. We started with the default creator's base avatar, and now we're going to use a customized body for a more realistic shape. This custom body shape is up to your personalized style. You can find tutorials on how to model avatars on other YouTube channels. First, open a new ZS file, then go to the Avatar tab, click on Custom, and double-click the plus button to bring in a new avatar. Once you confirm that the avatar icon is loaded, we're going to append our previous working file. Go to File, click Append, and locate where you saved the file. After the file is appended, return to the Avatar tab and bring in the new custom FBX. Now the avatar is in your 3D view. I'm going to adjust the top length using the point selection tool. And delete all the pins using the pin selection tool from the bottom icon here. If you look at the pants because I've made each side with different tension for wrinkles, they are draping differently. To make it even, let's copy the left side fabric properties and apply them to the right side. First, click on one pattern from the left pants and go to the fabric tab. Under physical properties, you can see all the default fabrics, but you can also add your own. Click one of the left pants pattern and click add under the tab. Then a new physics item 1 file will show. Right click to rename the file. Select the right side pants pattern and double click on physical properties to apply. Here your fabric data is saved. And now you can start applying to the other surfaces. Delete all the inner lines where the elastic is applied. Once the edit is done, Let's go to the top and make it a single edge binding. I'm going to mirror copy so both sides are equally edited. Once it's done, click on the edge of the sleeve hole, right click, and select offset outline. Create a distance of 1 and make sure to extend. Set the extend type to perpendicular so it has more ease. Do the same for the neck hole and for the bottom hem. Then sew the lines together to complete. To check if the pattern is too tight, turn on the pressure map in the top section of the 3D view. Enlarge the scale if needed and reapply the fabric properties. Turn off harder for the main body surfaces. Select the inner lines to cut and sew. Using points to adjust pattern sizes and length is the most accurate method I find. Just as a tip, you can use your own preferred method. Let's also adjust the fabric properties to make wrinkles more prominent. Pinch for final adjustments.
Once it's done, select all top patterns and right click to hold. This will prevent the garment from any changes. Now moving to pants shaping. Use the pinch and pin tools to hold it until you get the desired shape. Once done, it's ready to be exported. Go to File and select Export, then choose FBX. Check both Avatar and Smooth, and turn off Split Mesh. This is the finalized version uploaded in Zepeto Studio. Thank you for watching the video. Leave your questions and comments below.